Good morning. Mr. B was frolicking in the snow. I had to bring him inside. Yes, you. He still got snow on him. We got another like couple centimeters of snow this morning in Toronto, so that's okay. It'll be spring again one day. I believe that. Welcome, Carrie, Anita, Ed. Nice to see you out there. Hey, come on, Anita. You're all wet. Yeah, you sound like a wet dog. Get out of here. Go over there. Go on, go on to your bed. Go on. Ha, ah, welcome back. We missed last weekend. I was um, doing a program with Tony Robbins last weekend, which was amazing, really like changing, um, inspirational. And I'm happy to be back with all of you out there. If you're catching this live, thank you for joining me live on the Sunday morning and whenever you might be watching this um, afterwards. Happy to have you flowing with me, okay? We're gonna move through 60 minutes. It's been a while since we did a full 60 minutes. We were, um, I had some, some like, like previous arrangements I had to get to for a few weeks there, so they were shorter flows. We will do a full 60 minute journey into power sequence. Just listen to your body, see how it goes. I don't plan anything whenever we do these, so we'll just see how it, how it lands, okay? So make sure you challenge yourself, make sure you rest when you need to, and um, yeah, let's have some fun. Okay, take child's pose, please. Knees wide, toes touching. Mr. B, maybe you should go to your bed. What do you think? Go to your bed? Go to your bed and lie down? Yeah, do that, we're good. Just let yourself land in this first child's pose of the morning, whatever time of day you might be catching this. You feel your physical body resting on your mat. Do a quick check-in of where your mind is as you land in your practice. You're feeling strong, excited, playful, curious. Is there something else there? This next 60 minutes together, just really checking in as often as there might be something mentally that's limiting you in your practice. body will guide you through any physical limitation that might be there and will offer up what it's actually has available to it. I know for me, my mind is often the limitation that really gets me stuck. And being aware of that is really an opportunity to shift it. Spread all 10 of your fingers, press your knuckles down, sit deeper. Spread your toes out, press the tops of your feet. Feel your ankles, feel your shin bones. Breathe in. Soften the upper back, the arms. A couple more breaths together in. And together out. One more, your fullest breath, fill all the way up. Open your mouth and let it go. <sighs> Tabletop, empty your hands and knees. Downward facing dog, take the hips back. Land in your first down dog here, really land in it. Inner ankles back, outer ankles down, feel the feet. Walk your hands and take a bit longer stance maybe than your default where you landed. Feel that. Press through the knuckles. Get that stretch up the arms, the back, the spine. Right down the backs of the legs to your heels. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do that again. Feet together at the back of your mat, three-legged dog. Feet touching and then lift the right foot up. Keep pressing down the center of the left heel. You'll bend your right knee. Lift that right knee as high as you can. Get the right hip stacked over your left hip. 
Inhale. Maybe some movement through your ankles, through your toes. Take another breath here. And switch sides. Left foot up. Three-legged dog. Pressing down through the foundation of both hands and your right foot and then creating that lift and opening on the left side body. In. And out. Take one more big breath. Open it up. Mm, then release. Walk up to the top of your mat. Ragdoll. Feet parallel. Hip distance apart. And just let go of the upper body here. Arms can be interlaced. The weight of the arms, the shoulders softening down towards the floor. Still breathing. What did you walk into your practice with today that might limit it? Something on your mind, something you have to do, something in your physical body. It doesn't even have to be a bad thing. Being distracted will take away from your yoga practice. This practice of being mindful, present, awakening the body, awakening the mind. You need to actually be here in this moment for that to happen. Take an inhale. Fold a bit deeper. And release your hands to your mat. Bring your big toes closer together. Heels wider than your big toes. And your next breath in, flat back, lengthen the spine. And fold. Extended mountain sweep up. And fold. Hug into your legs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Press the floor. Downward facing dog. Hips back. Take a breath in. Empty it out. Two more. Inhale. Press down. Stay for the breath. Soften the elbows, soften the knees. Come up onto your toes, bend. Step or hop to the top of your mat, flat back. And fold. Not rushing, extended mountain. Use the full breath, reach up and fold, hug your legs. Lengthen it, belly draws in. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow with your breath. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a full inhale. Take a full exhale. In. Press down the four corners of both feet. Come up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hop or step forward. Flat back. And full. Extend the mountain, go up and go back, big reach, big stretch. Fold. Lengthen it. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take one breath in. 
One breath out. Lift up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hopper step. Flat back. Fold. Last one. Extended bound. Go up. Go back. Chair. Sit down. Heels wider than the big toes. Get the work in the legs. Without needing to see your feet, lift your ten toes. Spread your ten toes. Let them all settle back down onto your mat. And the weight into the heels. Inner ankles back, outer ankles down. Get the legs awake. Feel that oh, all the way up to my glutes. I felt that wake up. Sink deeper. Draw back your arm bones. Breathe in. Sit as deep as you can. Feel it in your legs. Not too deep, but just not like hanging out, waiting. Fully in the pose. Fully in your breath. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Reach up. Lengthen. Fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Warrior one on the right side. Reach up. Land your front knee. Press down into both feet. And then draw back your right hip bone. Feel that plug in. Sink deeper. Full inhale. Full exhale. Reach up. Sink down. Take one more big breath. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Warrior one, left side. Land. The left femur bone pulls back. Your hip bone in line with the right side. Breathe in. Go down. Three more. Powerful breath. For two. Hold it. Take one more big stretch. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Soften the joints. Press into your mat. The sun salutations, awakening the body, really getting you present. Building up a little bit of heat, generating some vitality in the body. How can you bring more awakening to these moments right here? These movements connect to breath. Long inhale, long exhale. Come up onto your toes, fill, bend your knees empty, hop or step forward. Moving with breath now, lengthen, fold. Utkatasana, one breath, sit low. Uttanasana, fold. Flat back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Warrior one, right side. Reach up, lunge down. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one, reach for it. Chaturanga Dandasana, Vinyasa, breath and movement. Inhale up, exhale back, take a breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. <sighs> one more, under your toes. Bend your knees, hop, 
step, walk to the top, right away, flat back, fold, chair, fold, lengthen, chaturanga dandasa, <clears throat> excuse me, upward facing dog, press the floor, downward facing dog, warrior one, full breath, go for it, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left side, breathe, expand. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing. Take child's pose, just for a few breaths. Feel the difference between this child's pose, the one you did like 10 minutes ago, breathing, heart beating. You know, I've got like just a little bit of, tiny bit of sweat starting on my skin. I'm like really aware of that. This connection to your breath, your movement, waking up your body. One more long inhale, long exhale, tabletop, downward facing dog, come to high plank, spin your heels to the left, take your right arm up, side plank. Lift the right leg up. Expand here. Create that expansion. You press down and pull in to lift. Breathe in. Breathe out. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Pull it in. Get a hold of your right knee. Draw it towards your chest. Pull it in and then swing through. Crescent lunge. Come up onto your back toes. Reach up. That transition didn't work out for you. That's okay. Just join me in crescent lunge. Get here. Next moment. Next breath. Land. Breathe in. Sink deeper. Arms up and back. Feel that. Expand the chest. Hands to heart center. Twist. Keep pressing palms and integrating the shoulders. That right shoulder blade especially. Draw it back. Twist. Deeper, inhale, exhale, lift the back heel, draw your back pinky toe towards the top of your mat, take one more breath in, one more breath out, warrior two, open up, land, land your gaze, land your shoulders, soften into it, breathe in. Breathe out. Lengthen up to the crown of your head. Lunge deeper. Full breath in. Full breath out. Flip and reverse. Extended side angle. Breathe in. Sink down into that right knee. Really feel the lunge. Pull back. Left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Reach. And twist. Take another big breath. Plant your right hand. Side plank. Step the right foot back. Flex feet. Lift that left leg up. You know where we're going now. If you have your right knee on the ground, that's okay. Take the modification if you need to. The transition won't work out, but just like get there when we get there. Whoop, if you fall out, begin again. Come back up. Breathe in and breathe out. Start to draw that left knee towards your chest. Pull it in. Hold here, squeeze. Oh, and then when you're ready, fly through. Crescent lunge, take the left foot to the top of your mat. 
It's getting out of like default. It's getting out of autopilot. Land in the lunge. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more. Stay. Hands to heart center. Twist. In your comfort zone, you'll know where you're going. It's going to be easy. Comfortable, maybe. Less room for growth. When you're in autopilot, you miss the things in front of you. You miss potential, opportunities, possibilities. Breathe in. Lift that back heel, twist. Full inhale, full exhale. One more big, big breath. Stay and twist it out. Warrior two, open up. Settle in. Set up the feet. Focus your gaze. And be here. Breathing. Long breaths. In and out. Sink down. One more. Full inhale. Full exhale. Extended side angle. Find the lunge. Breathe in. Breathe out. Twist. Right shoulder blade. Draw it back. Full breath in. Lunge a little deeper. For three. Two. Hold. Take one more big breath, reach it, stretch, and then chaturanga, then dasana, flow. Upward facing, downward facing dog. Come up onto your toes, bend your knees, step to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Fold, fingers to toes, scoop up your big toes, let go of the head. Where can you soften more? Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. And release the toes. Bring your big toes closer together. Chair. Twist to the right. Hook the left elbow to the right knee. Press that left foot down. Keep the knees in line with each other. Breathe in. Twist your upper body. Really feel that. Engage core. Integrate shoulders. Breathe in. And sink a little deeper. For three. For two. Hold it. Press. Squeeze. One more breath in. Stay for the breath out. Center. Utkatasana. Twist to the other side. Hold it. Five breaths. You got this. Press. Your legs might be working. Well, they are probably working. Yeah? Talk to them. You got this. Breathe into your leg muscles. Squeeze them to the bones for three. So strong. Hold it. Twist a little deeper. Last breath in. Last breath out. Fold. Gorilla. Feet wide. Oof. So good. Palms under your feet. Let go. Building up that vitality in your body. It comes from this practice of tension and release. You do that work. You build intensity. Your blood starts pumping. 
beads of sweat might start dripping and then the next moment it's resting it's finding that balance all you do is push forward work harder do more you'll burn out your body won't be able to sustain that and that's true about this practice and really about your whole life you know from my experience in my life anyway The opposite end of that spectrum is if, you know, you're always kind of just drifting, doing the bare minimum just to get by, checked out, you don't get anything done. And there's no growth there either. Balanced action, strength and softness, work and rest, yin and yang. Choosing to bring more balance is on you. You can't choose the circumstances, but you can choose what you make them mean. A friend said to me recently, and this, I don't know if it's a quote or where she got it from, but she said, like, every day you wake up and decide what kind of person you're going to be that day. It's like, oh, right. Accurate. Can't choose the life circumstances, but I can choose what I make them all mean, whether I learn a lesson or play a victim, believe the limitations in my mind or question them. Fold a bit deeper, take a few more breaths. Every day when you wake up, you choose what kind of person you're going to be. Release your feet. Toe heel them back to touch. Let's go for a crow this morning or whatever time of day you might be catching this. Yeah, palms on the mat, knees on the triceps. You can't do crow. There is a workshop on this channel back from 2020. You can do that. A lot of people have had success from that workshop. Just bringing your toes up onto a block can help, like perching on a block. Maybe it's lifting one or both feet. Maybe the toes stay on the ground. Do it for three more breaths. In and out for two. One more inhale. Core strong. Shoot back. Low plank. <clears throat> upper tasting dog I don't do crow very much anymore kind of get back into that yeah step or bring your hips back down facing dog lift up onto your toes bend your knees step to the top of your mat halfway lift and fold sweep all the way up take eagle on the right side engage the arms the legs Sink down. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Switch sides. Eagle on the left. How often are you just going through the motions? doing the things you do, the way you do them, getting through another day, nothing changes, nothing evolves. Right side, eagle. What else is possible? Thing is, you don't know what you don't know. You don't know till you do something different. Breathe in, breathe out. Elbows up, sit a bit deeper. Lift your right knee up to your chest, straighten the left leg, standing leg raise, unravel. Breathe in, breathe out. Open a bit more to the right side. Exhale, right leg to center. Press the heel forward, lift your toes up. Airplane, fly back. Keep the right toes and the right hip turned down. Expand. Cross your chest. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Half moon. Just moving with purpose here, yeah? Find your variation. Breathe and lift. Chow pasta, sugar cane. Reach for the ankle. Take a breath in. Squeeze your core. Squeeze the muscles of that left leg. Dancer, come up. You might fall out. That's okay. Come back and begin again. Breathe here. Take a breath in, take a breath out, go higher, one more breath, higher, and release, shake up that left leg, hey buddy, we have two, forward, want to go play in the snow, right, yeah, eagle, left side, he is definitely not upset to see snow, <laughs> I would rather just see buds on the trees, but that's okay, hi baby face, up to go boy you know hi hi okay focus focus eagle pose sink down squeeze in lift the left knee up standing leg raise open up try not to kick your dog hi good boy why don't you lie down buddy you can lie down right there if you want take a breath in open a bit more Leg back to center. Inhale the foot forward. Lift the toes on the breath in. And then fly back. Airplane pose as you exhale. Take a breath in here. Find the foundation of that right foot. Press it down. Lift the left heel. Stay. Hands to heart center. Half moon pose. Open it up. Breathe in. Breathe out, bend the top knee, chow pasana, reach back for that ankle. If you don't get it, that's okay. And just reaching for it, believing that one day you will get it. Different than saying you can't. Moving into dancer, come up, control, whoop. <laughs> and maybe no control, that's okay. Just find the next pose, yeah? Do that. I did leg day a couple of days ago and I'm feeling that in my legs, so that's okay. Just like your muscles don't always show up the exact same way. I know my muscles don't always show up the way I want them to. Sometimes more than I expect. Amazing. Sometimes less than I expect. Amazing. Opportunity for playfulness. Opportunity to like drop the judgment, the frustration. Take one more big breath. Find your full expression. Whew. And release. Shake out your leg. Tree on the right side. Come up. Took me a long time in my practice. I've been doing this practice not that long, just around like eight years. Tree, grow. Really took me a long time to get to that place of not being frustrated when the pose didn't work out. Like, oh, I've done it this way so many times before. Why won't my body do that right now? Who cares why? It's not doing it. What can you do in that moment? Because you can choose frustration. You can choose to go through all of the times it's looked a different way, what you did in those moments, how you want it to be in the future, like one minute from now or one month from now, but then you're not here. This pose in this moment is the only one I've got. This is the only place that I can create something. Can't create the past again. We can create the future, but only from this moment. Take a big breath in. And switch sides. Tree. When you get into autopilot, when you get into default, how it's been before, recreating it, it's not always bad. But it's not ever new. Find something different here doesn't even have to look different. Just the fact that it's a new moment makes it a different version of tree than you've ever done. Find expansion. Find full expression. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. 
Press down, pull in, create lift and expansion, and release. Sweep your arms up, extended mountain pose. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Warrior one. Right side. Warrior two. Trigonasana. Straighten the front leg. Keep the joints soft, yeah? So soften the knees. Use a block, a water bottle, a book, whatever you've got nearby if you need it. Something under your fingers. Reach up that left hand and draw back your left shoulder. The knees will want to lock out. If that's your default, especially soften the joints. Strengthen the leg muscles. Press your feet. Zipper your legs up all the way to your glutes. Feel that activate. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull yourself up to stand. Wide leg, side facing fold. Right toes turn in. Lead with the chest as you come down. And headstand if it's an option for you. I haven't done a headstand in a while. I was doing a lot of them last year. Wherever you're going, if you're in the wide leg forward fold, be there. Press your feet, lift your inner thighs. If you're trying for a headstand, core, strength, focus, breath. Inhale, exhale. Three more. Full breath in, full breath out. If you're practicing headstands, slowly with control, come back down. Pyramid, walk your hands over to your right foot. Fold over your right leg. Let go of the head. Full breath in. Full breath out. Halfway left, twisted triangle, ground through the feet, left hand down, right hand to your lower back. Keep twisting the upper body, wrap that right shoulder onto your back. Breathe in, breathe out, lengthen and twist. Again, full, generous breath. One more inhale, exhale. Hands to your mat, standing, split, lift the left foot up. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Just relax, man. Come here. Well, thanks. Nice kiss. Good. Just lie down here. Just lie down. You're fine. Right there. Just lie down. There you go. Just chill out, man. Take your left heel higher. Hold it. Take one more breath, feet together, fold, halfway lift, fold here, come up to a flat back again, step your right foot back, warrior one, reach up, warrior two, Trigonasana. straighten up the left leg, come down. Draw back the right shoulder. Keep that reach up through the fingertips. Full breath in. Full breath out. Oh my God, you're 
you're so cute. It's crazy. Crazy. Twist further. Take the breath in. Take a breath out. See that top hand? Hold for this last exhale. Open the twist, and then you'll pull yourself up to stand. Wide leg. Side facing fold. Option to bind the hands here if that feels good. Let your fist come up over your back. Hey, where are you going? Oh, man. Okay, it changed his mind. <laughs> it went for his toy and was like, yeah, maybe not. Let the crown of the head go. Big inhale. Big exhale. One more. Mm. Release your hands to your mat. Pyramid. Walk them over to the left foot. Turn the toes forward. Get your back foot in. Just enough for that heel to ground. Melt over your left leg. Press your feet. Let go of your weight of your head. A little bit deeper. Really wake up that left leg. Pull the left hip bone back. Draw the right hip bone forward. Twisted triangle. Right hand on the mat. Left hand to your low back. Excuse me, young man. Just come here. Get your nose out of all that stuff, okay? You don't need to be, like, sniffing everything on the coffee table. Come here. You're just bored. Come here. Just relax. You're just looking for mischief, man. Yeah. What a guy. Just a deeper. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. High plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. Do that. Take rest. Come here. Hey, just lie down. You're making me nervous, man. Just settle. <laughs> you take rest out there, friends. Mr. B, go to your bed. Go on to your bed. Just go lie down. Board dog. He walks right past his bed. He's just going to go do more mischief. What a guy. That's all right. He never causes any damage. Bring your chin to center. Arms back. Locust pose. Lift up. Chest, arms, legs. Find your full expression. Full breath in. Full breath out. Go a bit higher. Squeeze. Interlace your hands. Stay up. Bound locust. Find that. Press the knuckles back. Integrate the shoulder blades. Breathe in. Breathe out. For three. Squeeze. Go higher. Squeeze that lift as much as you can. Take one more big, big breath right here. And release. Opposite ear down. Just sway your hips from side to side. Bend your knees, let your feet fall from side to side for a moment. Let me go of that lower back area, soften it. Bring your chin to center, floor bow, grab your ankles, flex your feet, kick back into your hands, come up higher, find full expression, legs strong, core engaged for five, for four, last three, and two, fullest kick, lift, and release all the way down. Upward facing dog, hands by your ribs, lift your chest forward. Mm, downward facing dog. Walk up to the top of your mat, come down onto your back. Go for bridge. Hips up.
lift your chest up. You get grounded through the triceps. Integrate the shoulder blades. What are you doing? Why are you just taking laps? He's so good. He's just standing, staring at me. Come on. Up. Higher. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. One more breath. Come all the way down. Knees from side to side. Go back up. Bridge your wheel. Kick it on. Hi. Hey. What do you need? Yeah, you're up in bridge your wheel right now. <laughs> Take it on fully. Press down. Pull muscles to bones. Create lift. Expression in the body. Fill and empty. Go up a little higher. And slowly come down. Knees from side to side. Mr. B, what are you doing? You're very distracting. You're too cute. Okay, go back up, bridge your wheel. I'm just gonna take another bridge. I'm distracted, hopefully you're not. This guy is bored. Bridge your wheel, whatever back bend you're in, make it the one you're in, okay? Nope, make it less. <clears throat> Don't judge, don't criticize, just feel where you can take it in your body. Do another five breaths, this is the last one, so take it fully. Yeah, like I made bridge like less than wheel for so long in my practice, and bridge is still a wonderful pose, like get as much lift through the hips, lift through the chest as you can. Legs, glutes, shoulders, core, all working for three. For two, go a little bit higher, squeeze, and then come all the way down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together. Take your knees wide. One hand on your belly. One hand on your Rottweiler. <laughs> one hand on your heart. And just go within. Find your breath. Every day when you wake up, you have the choice of who you're going to be that day. And every moment, breath by breath, that same choice is always there. Choosing to be in a beautiful, joyful state, even when things are challenging, it's truly a gift. And it's work sometimes, that's for sure. When it doesn't work out, when you maybe don't make that choice, it's just acknowledging how that feels. Once you have the realization, maybe a different choice is possible. Happy baby. Pull down, grab the outer edges of your feet and draw your knees towards your armpits. As you pull down, press your lower back into the floor, yeah? So avoid lifting your tailbone up off the ground if you can. Roll down your lumbar spine all the way down to the bottom of your spine. You can sway from side to side. Bring your knees together, hug them into your chest. Grab the backs of your knees, rock front to back. Come up to Navasana, boat pose. Whoop, one more, hold here. 
You might have supported fold with the hands behind the knees. Wherever you're going, extending arms and legs, or even like upward facing bow, getting a hold of the feet, extending the legs upwards. Shoulders back, belly in. Lift your chest. Five breaths, inhale. Exhale. Deep in. Two more. Last breath right here. Squeeze. Hold it. And release. Option for half pigeon. I'm going to do deer pose today. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I think he's not blocking it that much. So for deer pose, instead of taking, um, like you're going to take your right shin parallel to the top of your map, and instead of taking your left leg all the way back, you're just going to have it bent out to the side here. Okay, so you've got, you can't really see. It's like a 90 degree angle. So the left shin parallel to the left edge of your mat, left right shin parallel to the top of your mat, and then you can just lean forward over your legs. You can lean in many different directions in this pose. And it's just, I just was doing this yesterday and it feels really good with where my hips are right now. If you want half pigeon or thread the needle, then of course that's where you go. If you're in deer, you can like walk your hands out to the top right corner of your mat a bit more to get a bit more depth in the stretch. Just keep breathing. so much about breath and yoga and really breath is such a universal thing obviously right if you're alive you're breathing so that's one thing that connects every human on this planet it be a really powerful reminder when you get stuck in a spiral stuck in an old thought an old belief an old behavior Breathing new breath, There's always an option for that new breath to bring a new experience. It's always there. You just have to choose it sometimes, or really choose it all the time, as often as you can. Presence access to new possibility. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly come up, extend your legs out in front of you. Take a seated forward fold, sit bones back. Talk the pit of the belly in a little bit deeper. Come back up. Left side. Half pigeon, thread the needle, or if you're going into deer pose, left shin parallels to the top of your mat, right shin parallels to the right side of your mat, and you'll fold over the legs. Focus your breath.
a few more breaths here. Inhale, exhale. One more breath. Come back up. Take your legs out in front of you. Roll onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Extend your left leg long, draw the right knee in. Cross it over, supine twist. Stay grounded through that right shoulder. And back through center, shift the hips to the left, switch legs, right leg straight, left knee in, cross it over the body. deeper. Come back to center. Give your knees a final squeeze in. Hug them to your chest. And release. Shavasana. Close your eyes. Take rest. from journey to the heart I'll finish up make each moment count a picture isn't taken in a moment stated the brochure from the cottonwood colorado hotel it's taken of a moment it took me a long time to learn that important truth i spent years trying to get my life together and keep it together as though it were a solid chunk that could be arranged in a certain place then made to stay there it took me a long time to learn about moments. In many ways, our lives are like a movie reel, made up of individual frames and single moments, each one leading into the next. It is a waste of energy to try to hold on to the moments of the past. By the time we began reaching for them, they're gone. It is just as poor timing to try to jump into moments that have not yet arrived, the future. Stay in the present moment, the frame you're in now. It's the only moment where happiness, joy, and love can be found. And remember to make each moment count. I did not read that before class, just for the record. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Long breath in, stretch, arms up over your head. <clears throat> Roll 
to one side with your eyes closed. Bring yourself up to a seated position, sit tall. Hands pressed into your heart center. Big breath in. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Thumbs to your forehead center. I acknowledge you in this moment right here. We bow together. Thank you. Have an awesome day. And if you have not already checked out my new website, check it out. It's at the top of the description of this video. Um, I'm, I'm a chef as well. I do plant-based cooking classes. I have my program. The plant-based power-up is starting on April 17th. So if you do want to do that, it is a full life program. It is not just about trying to turn people fully plant-based. I don't even recommend that you go fully plant-based to start out. It's a gradual shift. But we talk about sleep health and movement and mindfulness, meditation, gut health, a big chunk on gut health and inflammation. So if you want to learn more about that, and really start to shift your life before we come into these warmer months. Get yourself on track in your um, physical, mental, emotional health. Reach out if you have any questions, okay? You can find that under the Programs tab on my website. Have an awesome rest of your day. Keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, and stay connected to a daily mindfulness practice. I will see you again really soon. This guy, I love when he comes and does the yoga with me. What a sweet boy. Yeah. My baby. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay, I'll come in on the stream in just one second, but he's just the cutest ever. Wow. Cancel. Okay. Hi. Thanks, everybody. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'll see you soon.